Hello everybody. Uh, today I am going to show you how to paint the engravings on um, engraved metal. In this case we have a uh, Smith & Wesson M&P. Seems to be a very popular item that people like to uh, fancy up by painting the engravings, so I'm going to show you how to do that. You can use a number of different paints. Um, I've done this pistol probably three different times now. Uh, I keep changing colors, but eventually I'll find a color that I like. Um, I have used just a, oops, just a silver model paint. Um, a lot of people like to use nail polish, which I went digging through uh, the girlfriend's stash and found this nice uh, silver. The metal flake seems to be uh, much bigger than what's in the model paint. So that should look nice. We'll give that a try and see how it works. We'll shake it up really good. Uh, first thing, most important, is to clean the surface, uh, clean the area that you're going to be painting very well. Make sure it's degreased. Um, what I did was I took a uh, toothbrush with, uh, you can use some rubbing alcohol, what have you. Um, in this case, I'm using. A towel just to go over it one more time to make sure it's really clean. But you got to make sure the area is really clean. That's super important. Okay, not really getting any dirt out of there, so I think that's all right. We should be okay to go. All right. <clears throat> so what we want to do is we just want to do this in th kind of thin layers. Um, it'll first coat will go on kind of thick, and then once it dries, you'll see the engraving as it settles into the into the engraving there. And then we'll go over it again. So uh, we'll just take our, our nail polish. I shook it up here. I'll shake it just a little bit more. Um, what's cool about this is you can change colors anytime you want. It doesn't take a long time, like some might expect. Um, you know, it does take a little bit of time. From start to finish, between dry times and coats, you're probably looking at a half hour or so um, to do all the engravings. For today's sake, I'm just going to do this engraving. Um, I won't bother doing the... the um, the M&P part, oops, and then uh, that stuff. I'll just do that later, but for the sake of today and time, I'll just do this one. Because that's a pretty detailed engraving and show you that it can come out looking just like the factory did it. So I'll go ahead and uh, get some silver here. All we're going to do, you don't need to be super careful about it, just smear some paint over there just making sure that you cover that's a little thick so I'm gonna get some off of the brush here just to kinda that's plenty alright you just wanna make sure you cover all the parts of the engravings go a little bit beyond the engraving just so that you make sure you get total coverage okay so that's fine you don't need to you don't need to sit there and be perfect about it just so that a nice layer of paint covers the whole engraving Let's see if I can bring it a little bit closer here. So that's it. We'll just let that dry for a little while. Um, and I'll be right okay, back. So we're back. The nail polish is mostly dry. It's probably still a little bit soft, but that's perfect. That's what we want. Um, I'm going to show you here. The nail polish has somewhat settled into the engravings, and you can see depth in it now. <clears throat> So if you look closely, you can kind of, let me see if I can get to focus here. So if you look closely, you can see uh, the paint has settled in the engravings. Um, we want to build that paint up so that it's uh, even with the surface of the metal. Um, so what we're going to do, <clears throat> some people use nail polish remover and a cloth. I am going to use a razor blade reason for that is I'm just going to shave off the top layer, um, the excess paint that I don't want on there, um, and then I'm going to apply another coat to help build the surface up in the engraving so that it's flush with the uh, rest of the gun. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my razor blade, it's all about the correct angle. You don't really have to worry too much about scratching it, you don't have to be super aggressive, but what I'm going to do is just sit there and shave this off. You might pull some of the paint off of some of the areas, which is okay, it happens. Um, but it's a quick, easy way, you don't have to sit there and rub, uh, to get nail polish 
uh, remover on a cloth and sit there and rub it. So I'll just shave that and that's just a clean swipe. Focus here. Just a clean swipe of the razor blade. Okay. So that's what we've got so far. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit with just a touch of uh, maybe some rubbing alcohol just to kind of clean up the surface. And then I'm going to apply another coat in the same way. So I'll come back and just... Alright guys, so we are on round two of the paint here. Uh, I've got it pretty well dried up. I'm going to go ahead and get this scraped up cleaned off. I'm going to take my razor blade. Uh, really important is to use kind of a slicing motion instead of just scraping it across. You might pull up some paint. If we use a uh, like kind of a forward and back as we go along it's going to more or less slice uh, the paint clean from the paint that's in the engraving. So we'll just go ahead and start here. I'm just going to apply some pressure and kind of slice as I go. Okay. Okay, Gotta clean this up a little better. Sorry for the shaky camera. Okay, got that pretty well cleaned up. What I'm going to do now, I've stolen a little bit of nail polish remover just to clean this up. So what I'll do, I'll just get a little piece of paper or a napkin here. Use cotton or whatever. Just get it a little bit wet with some nail polish remover. Okay, just a tiny, tiny bit, and we'll just gently rub the excess away from there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Clean that up, all right. We've got a little bit in the corner left here. Cleaned up. Okay, and I'm pretty happy with that. It's still a little bit shallow, the paint is. I don't know how well you can tell. Okay. And that looks pretty good. There's a lot of metal flake in there, so it makes the lines look a little rough, but I'm probably going to go over that one more time, because I still see... Uh, um, some I can still see the paint isn't quite built up all the way to the surface. I don't know if you can tell or not. Um, I kind of I did the other parts too. Started shaving there. Okay, it's about as far as I've shaved, but I'll get that all cleaned up. That's how I do it. Like I said, some people will just take the, the nail polish remover and just sit there and rub until you get all the paint off. I find that to be a little bit messy and the razor blade works very well to take the bulk of it off without having to sit there and rub forever. And then just a light, a light rub with some nail polish remover just to kind of clean up the surface and get it free of stuff. So I'll get this all finished up and then I'll do a quick uh, showing of the finished product. So I'll be back in just a minute. Alright guys, and we are done. This is the finished product. Well, it's about 90% done. I still got to do some final cleaning. Got it to focus here. All right, so there it is. Painted engravings, shiny silver. Still have to clean it up a little bit to finalize things, but there it is. Looks good. See it in the daylight here. Right? Gotta probably do one more coat on that one. I got a little thin on the Springfield there. But that should be it. Hopefully, that helps you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you have any questions or problems doing this process. I'll do whatever I can to help out. Have a good one.